I feel saddened that it's even gotten to this point because I upload NBA 2K on my channel almost every single day. And so I got a lot of love for the game, but at the same time, when someone steals your intellectual property, you have to do something about it. And with the money 2K is making, you think they at least be able to dish out some sort of royalty or some sort of set fee when they're using someone's intellectual property, but they're not. And so I'm taking 2K to court. It's really the only option. I've already contacted my lawyer and we're in the process of putting the suit together. You might be wondering, Agent, what is it that they stole from you? And you can watch the video, you're gonna be just as shocked as I am that it's been in the game for this long and I still haven't received any compensation for it. All right, what you guys are looking at right now is rare footage of Skinny Agent three years ago walking. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am walking down, what is that, Unionville in Markham, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Now, how is it that I dropped this video three years ago and then come to find out 2K19 drops a few months ago and they have walking in that game as well? But I did it first. And so at what point am I gonna get compensated because I was the first one to do this? I mean, some people might've done it before me, but I'm clearly one who popularized walking, and so I should be getting paid for that. 2K didn't hit me up not once, and apparently people agree with me because the backpack kid is suing NBA 2K, Carlton from Fresh Prince is suing NBA 2K, and what's that rapper nobody talks about anymore? Two Millie. Yeah, he's suing NBA 2K as well. It's like, God damn, let me get in on some of the action then. I've been walking before, huh? So I'm sure you guys remember the backpack kid, he did this dance and somehow got popular off of it. Stole the show. The kid took the stage as Katy Perry performed and in about two seconds took over the show. Yeah, man. So like somehow people liked it a lot and he got popular and then he's like, oh, all right, how do I keep getting popular and making more money? And so the, the next plausible step is just to sue NBA 2K. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's not totally wrong because the dance 2K put in the game, they even called it Backpack. 2K, in fact, has a whole section called Viral where they just take viral dances and put them in the game. They have Soldier Boy's You Dance. They have the Hit Them Folks. They have every popular dance you can imagine. Now, you don't want me acting them out because I'm gonna be Alley A version number two in this. I have no dancing capabilities whatsoever. So if my player is doing the floss on NBA 2K, how is the backpack kid, the originator of the action, not getting paid every time someone does some of this right here? So that's a real question right there. And it has to be met with an answer at court. And me just being like a kid, I liked the attention. I remember having 393 followers. I woke up with like, 5,000 followers. That seems innocent enough. It's just some kid who did some dance and got popular off of it thinking, how can I leverage this to make some money? What's wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen? That sounds like capitalism to me. You can definitely tell he's a child because you'll see him in a couple videos and you'll have yourself asking the question, how old is he again? It's not just about making, like I'd much rather make $6 million a year happily than make $21 million a year unhappily. Really? 100%. But 21 million would make you happy. What you learn is when you have six million, that the difference between six million and 21 million isn't much. Did, what? Oh my God. Where is, where is this guy's guardians? Where is his role models in life? Did you just hear what he said? Gary V told him something that almost 99% of you guys would agree with. Six million dollars, happy, yes. I will sign up immediately, where is the paper? And then he said, really? You wouldn't rather have 21 million and be unhappy? Man, what the f are you gonna do with 21 million if you're unhappy with it? Oh my God, so innocent enough, just a kid trying to make it in life. Apparently his goal is to make money because I would even sacrifice happiness for it apparently. I don't even wanna come down on him. I think the kid gets enough criticism. He gets bashed by a lot of people online because they're like, how did he even get famous for that? That dance is being so I don't think he deserves that from me. You know, I'll let him slide. I see him as a guy who just had an opportunity and took advantage of it. There's nothing wrong with that. But back on topic, he's suing both Fortnite and NBA 2K. But then he says this on TMZ. It's been out. It used to be, but we are on a different season now. You're on a different season now. It's oh. an outdated dance in Fortnite. Now, did you but get, it's still in Fortnite. Did you get any royalties or anything? Like no. This? No? Have you got compensated at all? You think you should? I feel like you should. I think I should. You think you should, right? It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal? You don't really care? I'm just glad that it's in the game. But if you got a check one day, you wouldn't, you wouldn't complain about it. 
I would not. No. So anytime you're a very popular person or organization, people are trying to sue you to get your money all the time. And so you usually have a bunch of lawyers on retainer so that when people like the backpack kids sue you for some dumb shit, you can fight it off. And so NBA 2K and Epic Games are gonna have to employ one of their lawyers to waste their time on this case that he has no chance of winning. And when they get to court, they're gonna bring this video on TMZ of him saying, it's not really a big deal. I'm just glad it's in the game. Come on, man, you spoiled your chances. On top of all of that, at E3, I believe, you remember when they had that huge, big, in real life Fortnite event? He was participating in it. He was doing his dance at the event. So it's like, damn, bro, you just got a chance to experience all that Fortnite had to offer. They invited you out, man. They showed you some hospitality, and this how you're gonna do them? That's very, very disrespectful, man. Here's what I think happened. He seems like an impressionable child. I think somebody was in his ear. It might have been a manager. It might have been an agent. Somebody in the ear trying to get some money out of the situation. And they told him to sue. What do you have to lose? Well, probably lawyer fees, man. How about credibility, dude? A lot of the internet already doesn't like you, man. You, you trying to get on everybody's bad side? Now, I did take a couple law classes when I was in university, man. You know me now. And this was one of the topics we were talking about, right? So if like a football player does like a dance in the end zone, is that copyrightable just because he made the thing popular? Well then at that point, can't any popular person take an action or a dance that an unknown person has created and popularize it and claim the profits? Where, where is the line, ladies and gentlemen? I don't seem to know where it is. And he definitely got that criticism heavy because everybody was linking to this video of the first documented floss. And in the video, if you look at dude over here, he does a floss. And so if you're not the first person to do it, then how are you getting paid for it, my guy? Shouldn't he be the one suing Fortnite? Are you the one who made it popular, is that why? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very interesting case. Of course, Alfonso Ribeiro, also known as Carlton on Fresh Prince, he said he wanted to get in on the action. Now the Carlton, as the dance is called, has been popularized, of course, in Fresh Prince, we know. It's been in NBA 2K since about NBA 2K16. And in the game, they even named the dance So Fresh. <laughs> it's like they're not even trying. I mean, but should they even have to? Can you imagine if 2K had to pay royalties for every single dance they put in the game? Because that's what they have to do with soundtracks. The process to get a soundtrack in NBA 2K is so immensely complex and costs the game so much money, you wonder why they even do it. Because I, I just listen to Spotify. I don't even have the music on in NBA 2K no more. Ever since like 2K14, I just mute it. But there's so much legality. You have to talk to the publisher. Is the artist okay with it? Get clearance for this. You have to pay a fee or a royalty for this. Then you have to get an executive producer, which in this case is Travis Scott for NBA 2K19. And it ends up costing so much money for whatever reason. In a one in a million chance, one of these guys win their lawsuits. Then the dances in the game are gonna be reduced drastically. Cause everybody, and anybody who's ever popularized or originated a dance is gonna start suing publishers. And it's video games, man. Video game, the market is very finicky, my guys. You heard it here first. It's not like 2K hasn't gotten in illegal trouble before. In NBA 2K18, when they allowed people to use custom t-shirts, a whole bunch of people were making like Bape t-shirts or Supreme t-shirts. But Supreme and Bape didn't have any license or agree to be on NBA 2K18, right? And so a whole bunch of pressure, all these uh, designers and companies, clothing companies were hitting up 2K like, Yo, you have our products in your game, and 2K was like, we didn't do it, the audience did it. And if you remember, a few months into the game's launch, they actually removed the feature to create any new clothes. So 2K is really, really slick and smart with it. They're like, listen, man, we didn't put it in the game, we just gave other people an option to create stuff. We can't control what they do. Eventually, they had to shut it down, but uh, that's the way they kind of finessed their way out of that situation. So Carlton must be furious at this point. Epic Games and NBA 2K are both stealing from him, but it seems like he stole from somebody else. And I went, all right, well, how would Carlton dance? And I he said, doesn't... you know what? I know exactly. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> I stole it from Courtney Cox okay. and Eddie Murphy. Okay. It's like a combination of both It's of those? a combo of all of that, with okay. a little bit of me mixed in. So if he steals a dance or an action from somebody else, or a group of people, and then throws his own little flair into it, is it his copyright? Because if we're gonna play that game, this backpack dance 
doesn't look entirely like the one that that backpack kid does. It looks like a very different kind of dance. Just the movement and the motion does not look identical. And so could you argue 2K put a different flair on it? On top of that, I highly doubt these guys even applied for a copyright or a trademark. So this is probably just a huge money grab. So I'm trying to say, where's my money at 2K? I had, I, I was, listen, I was walking since 1996. I guess 1997, cause nobody walks at birth. So where is my compensation? That's all I'm asking. The lawsuit is almost identical to the one filed by 2 Milli earlier this month for jacking his Milli Rock dance. So let's switch our focus to this 2 Milli character. Uh, I guess it was season five when they, when they premiered it in a game. A bunch of DMs, a bunch of Twitter requests. Your game is in a dance, you need to sue. Fortnite stole it. Even like big, big artists, major artists like Joe Buttons and stuff, they, were, they have their own like show daily struggle they say yo you, you must sue for fortnite i'm like fortnite what is that i don't even know so you weren't even stop familiar stop it stop lying to the people man why is he acting like he doesn't know what fortnite is uh i guess it was season five when they when they premiered it in the game i don't believe this guy one bit ladies and gentlemen i don't know he seemed pretty confident to me when he declared it was in season five it was added into the game i feel like he's the type of person that is on reddit engaging in rumors about what the next season's gonna entail Oh my God, what do you think the meteor is all about? How about that rocket, dude? He's one of those guys, man, I just know it. He's playing dumb for the sake of his lawsuit, of course. He can't just out and say that. No, I'm a huge player of Fortnite, I love the game, but uh, I wanna make some money. That's not gonna come across well. Also gonna be used in court against him had he said it. So he's kinda just playing his role, he's acting the situation, trying to get as much money out of the situation as humanly possible. I didn't With know what it was. No, no, I was neither until, I uh, t until today. <laughs> <So> <laughs> guys, I didn't even know what Fortnite was. I mean, it's probably only one of the biggest entertainment products on the entire earth right now. <laughs> and I make my living on the internet, man. I'm a rapper. <laughs> but I didn't know what it was, though. I don't even know what Call of Duty is. Wait, what the f*** is gaming? You mean to tell me people sit down and they pick up controllers and they click buttons and that's fun? You mean to tell me that? What the f***? What is an electronic? Yo. What is fun? I've been my whole life without any, any bit of fun. I've just been just... Millie rocking in Atlanta, just completely oblivious to everything else going on around me. Come to find out, Epic's been stealing from me this whole time. I had to discover what electronics were, what happiness was, what a controller was, what gaming was. And here I am, man, just trying to get what's rightfully mine. I'm joking about the situation, but it's a real one. And it's one that they actually do stand a very slight chance of winning. It's not completely impossible for them to win this, based on my very little understanding of the law. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. The law classes I had in university, I dropped out. Maybe there's a lawyer watching this who could tell me better, but chances they win this, very unlikely. For them, to be honest, it's probably a chance to just be a little bit more relevant because everybody's talking about them. I mean, if you just type in Alfonso Suze, there's a whole bunch of articles referring to him as Fresh Prince Star. You know how sad that must be? Like, imagine the most important thing you did in your life was 20 years ago. I get that's the reality for a lot of like popular people or actors or even probably YouTubers. But like for him, it's like, damn man, like let me get my name out there. Everyone's gonna talk about it if I do it. And what if I'm successful? Then I'm making millions of dollars. Because if 2K makes $20 million on the Backpack Kid dance, right? Because it was so popular, they used his likeness, his copyright, his trademark, or whatever they want to call it. At the end of the day, they're gonna have to pay out some, if not all of that, to the guy that it was owed. Assuming that they lose, of course, which I'm assuming, again, is highly unlikely. Again, a lot of assumptions because I'm not a lawyer. All I'm saying is this, 2K. If you're giving these guys money, you're giving me money too, all right? And then every single person you took a dance from on the entire internet is gonna start suing you. So you better hope to God that you don't lose one of these lawsuits. Cause it's not gonna be good for the bottom line of NBA 2K, man. Again, bro, you gotta be careful when you're a big organization, when you're a popular person. People to take you to court for anything, man. If I was Will Smith and I had like a hundred million dollars and I just shoved someone on the street like that because they, they were in my way or they stepped on my shoes, then they would literally take me to court. Because although they didn't feel any pain, they were good. They're gonna claim it was $100,000 in damages. My my hero, who I looked up to my whole life. A whole lot of emotional damage. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's where we're at in 2018, ladies and gentlemen. We're suing people for absolutely no reason because we wanna be more relevant. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> or click one of these two videos here. Catch you guys in the next one. I've been waiting this whole video just to do this. Peace out.